So for our next video series, we decided to ask our consumers and our past clients what they wanted us to talk about. So we put a Facebook post out there and said, what questions can we answer for you with regard to real estate? So we got six responses. And so those are the questions that we're gonna be discussing here in the next couple of videos. So the first question is, what are the biggest real estate concerns that you anticipate in 2020? Okay, 2020 uh, is going to be an interesting year for real estate in our opinion. Um, as the market continues to balance out, we've been in a seller's market for the last six or seven years. And as the market continues to balance out, which means an equal balance between buyers and sellers, people are seeing a change in the market. And that's something that is a little bit hard sometimes to grasp if you're a seller with that arrow having gone straight up for the last seven or eight years. Now we're turning into what's seen more as a balanced and even market. So that would be a little bit norm more normal for what we've seen over the last 50 years or so. Uh, but the market is cyclical and we are changing a little bit. So that's one thing that we do anticipate that, can, that arrow continue to change to balance out in 2020. I think the second thing we're seeing is that we're seeing inventory kind of balance as well between buyers and sellers. We've been in a seller's market once again for the last seven or eight years. And as sellers have put their house in the market, houses tend to stay on a little bit longer and they don't sell for quite as close to the anticipated price as, as was, was believed to be. I think the third thing we look at is we look at an economic slowdown, which is possible and a lot of people have predicted. And as many know, real estate business, the, the selling of real estate and new home construction, a lot of times is on the front end of any economic slowdown. And we've started to see some changes in our market, which ind indicate that this is a possibility in 2020. 2020 also being an election year, um, creates an additional wild card scenario for what might happen in real estate in 2020. Second question is how long will it take to sell? Same three variables are gonna dictate how long it's gonna take. Price, condition, location. So we're not changing the location. We, we want the house to be in the best condition that it can possibly be um, given the investment that the seller is willing to make Sometimes we ask sellers to make modifications to the home to improve their net return. So our goal is never to ask a seller to do anything that they would spend more money on than we could get back in the price of the house. And then ultimately, when we put it on the market, we want to price it as close to the actual market value as we possibly can, because if it is priced close to the actual market value, then it should sell immediately and sometimes for more money than we're asking. If we price it too high, one of two things will happen. We will either not get showings or we will get showings and we will get feedback that says the yard's too small. It doesn't have a garage. I was looking for a house with a master bathroom. So those, what we always tell sellers is you can add three words to the end of every feedback which is for the price. So at this price point, I was expecting a garage. At this price point, I was expecting a master bath. At this price point, I was expecting a bigger yard. And so when you're getting that feedback, that is basically the market rejecting your home at that price. Right. And the only thing you can really do is adjust to that feedback. Okay, very good. And then lastly, what are the top three things that a seller can do to maximize the value of their home before listing? Excellent. We always, when we look at this and we get to ask this question frequently, we always look at what's your investment going to be as a seller in getting your home ready versus what your return might be. The three things that we talk about, uh, the first thing would be that they would want to declutter or clean their home. So pretty much when we're talking about closets, we're talking about furniture, uh, people normally, the way they live, um, have some excesses in those areas. Having a clean, cluttered, uncluttered environment is very, very important. Cleaning the windows is also a big, big factor and a big key. Secondly, we recommend staging or looking into staging your home. Homes normally sell for approximately 6% more if they are staged. 
And what staging encompasses is not just moving furniture in and out of a house. It can be repositioning furniture. It can be adding some color or some light to the house as well. The third thing is fresh paint and using updated colors and making sure that the environment appears fresh, clean, and open. We hardly have ever had a situation where we've had a, a buyer indicate that a home has too much light. But we have in fact had buyers indicate that a home felt dark and they just didn't feel comfortable in the home. 